Okay, Justin, here's a big question, and this is really ties back into my heart for my garden guy business and edible landscaping. What would you be your top three, or if you don't, don't want to put a number to it, just talk, but what would be your encouragement for people who don't have a homestead? They don't have property. They don't really, all they've got is limited space. Yeah. What would be your suggestion for them? Maybe someday they will, but in the meantime, they don't. And that's, I probably, to me, that's probably like 80%. Yeah, and, and let's, assume they're, let's assume they're working towards it or or they just want to make, you know, feel the homesteading spirit right where yeah. they are. So, Get started. Um, I would say, well, start homesteading. And by that, I don't mean hmm. uh, go out and do something on the land because you, you can't. Yeah. But you could get a five-inch terracotta pot and put potting soil in it mm -hmm. and start a basil plant in your windowsill. Yeah. Okay? That's step, that's one thing. A little pot. So, yeah, you could have one pot. And, oh my goodness, do you have a banister? Well, then you could start these. Mm -hmm. If this was all we had was this 1,300 square foot, every, this, the, we'd have these, a, we'd have these containers everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay? So then the second thing is, maybe you don't even have a windowsill that's facing this, the sun. Well, I mean, you could get grow lights. <laughs> you, yeah. could do, you could do is it aquaponics. Mm -hmm. So um, the other thing is, get buy a whole chicken. Not like a live chicken, but buy a whole chicken and learn how to cook a whole chicken. Because if you're on a homestead, you harvest your chickens, mm -hmm. one of the first things you have to learn is actually how do you deal with it and cook a whole chicken. Yeah. And I guess what I'm saying here is start cooking like a homesteader. That's smart. Uh, buy your food. It doesn't matter if it's at the grocery store or at a farmer's market. It'd be great to go to the farmer's market, meet some farmers. Mm -hmm. Start cooking like a homesteader. <laughs> Throw out the box nice. junk food and just start cooking whole foods yeah. like you grew it. Oh, and then if you want to have some fun, take some seeds out of those, out of those crops, squash or whatever. And you have your little container garden. Put one, put put one squash seed in there. Yeah. From the from the from the plant you bought at the grocery Just store. Try it out. Yeah. <laughs> and and who cares if this is not enough soil? And who cares if you plant it now and it's too late? <laughs> who cares? It's it's you're doing something because here's what happens if you cannot garden a windowsill you cannot garden a front yard mm. and if you cannot garden a front yard you certainly cannot garden a one and a half acre intensive market garden and you, forget about it five acre ten acres mm -hmm. um, make do with what you got some, right that's right and then the third one the third one would then be don't say I can't. Mm. Don't say I can't. Don't say I can't because I don't have an apartment. I don't have a yard. I don't have this or that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Say, how can I? And then your brain's going to start working. And if you didn't think, oh, I, well, I could do a container, maybe you can't. How can I? Oh, well, maybe I could ask some of my friends and see if they have a yard. And maybe I could go, go over there. Maybe my city has a community garden. Yeah. Do you see? Do not say I can't. Can't. Yeah. Don't say I can't. Just don't. Don't say that, yeah. because then that puts restriction. And of course you can't. Yeah. But as soon as you start saying how can I, at the very least you get a wonderful brain exercise. Yeah. And if you dare yourself to say, answer that in five or six different ways. Sure, five of the six are going to be stupid answers. But that sixth one might be, that grandma and grandpa have a little spot in their backyard. Maybe I could ask them. Mm -hmm. And in return, all they would want is a handful of produce. Yeah. Can't. So can't, can't when you say, mentality. how can I, it gets you out of that box. It gets you out of that crippled box. Man, that's good. He was, he was telling me that same kind of mentality. I mean, that applies to everything, really. Everything. It's but, everything. I mean, if, I, I could see how, if I didn't have much space, I would think. And I, I was watching all these videos. Loving the homestead videos, but yeah. if if I, I would just get easily discouraged. Yeah. But I, I like what you're saying. Because yeah. you I gotta mean, have I might have included one of the three as we'll start studying it. Mm. But I don't want to go there because I I don't think people need to hear that as much as maybe they need to hear the other things. Yeah. Because you could start studying it and get getting ready. Yeah. But the tendency is I feel like is people do that too much and they get an analysis paralysis 
and they it gets them in this dream world. Oh, if I have what's in this book, then I'll make a garden that looks this nice. <laughs> yeah. No. Say, how can I now? Boom. Yeah. How can I now? <laughs> Y'all, if you got if you got some patio space, if you got some yeah. some uh, porch space, yep. windowsill. I mean, it's it's uh, July. It's getting almost time for fall planting. Yeah. So it's not it's not, it's not like it's you're not done after springtime. No. Nope. That's good. I All like right. it. I like it. Thank you. <laughs>